yo, 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 yo
uh, some department store or something, but you're not doing that at no real corporate well, job. Well, you might if you have another job lined up. Yeah, yeah, like, I might use that app if I hit the lotto. If I hit the lotto, I might use that app. Well, good that you're going to quit your job here in Beast. Nah, it's I'm, good to know. I have a many jobs. I'm not talking about this one, ye. Ain't no grown-ass man or woman using that app to quit no job, okay? That's, for, that's an app for kids. All right. And that's front page news. Now tell them why you're mad. If you're upset, you need to vent. 800-585-1051. Now this is how it works. If you uh, somebody pissed you off or you just want to vent, give something us an that example you don't of like. why you're mad. Like if your tub's not big enough to surfboard, surfboard. Well, that's why Charlemagne's mad. But if you're <laughs> upset, call us right that's now. We open up the phone lines and let you vent. 800-585-1051. Call us right now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. It's a mad rapper. Good morning, yo, for real. I'm going to tell you why I'm mad. I'm going to tell you why I'm mad, for real, man. Hey, yo, my girl keep coming home smelling like Polo Cologne. So, like, like, that ain't for girls. Like, I know something's going on, for real. Like, 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 like I'm, I'm heated about that. And now I need y'all to tell me why y'all mad. Why you mad? On the Breakfast Club, for real. Hello, who's this? Hello, this is Thomas, a.k.a. B. Tom Say on Twitter, as in Beyonce, Lil Bravo, or whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, why you mad? I'm mad because everybody keeps coming for her, talking about some, oh, she throwing her body way too much and um, not being a role model for the kids. First of all, this album wasn't made for little kids, so they need to, the parents need to get that together. And second of all, just because you shape like a, a uh -oh. bag of frozen chicken nuggets, don't mean that you can <laughs> um, talk about her body. Like, she looks good. That's Listen, her how, body. How, about nice. how about, first of all, she's a married woman, and if she wants to express her love for her husband and her sexual love for her husband, she's allowed to do that. Absolutely. Hello, who's this? Hey, this is Lala J. Lala J, tell them why you mad. I'm mad because I put me a little, you know, freestyle up, and I ain't getting no followers on IG, so I feel unfriended. Well, should... but how is the people supposed to see it if they don't follow you? Uh, I put it on Facebook. Maybe it's just whack. You ever thought about that? That could be a No. Team. I mean, I understand that it's your baby and it's your work of art, and you want to believe it's great, but maybe Don't hear me out, then. Don't hear me out. I mean, here, go All ahead. All right, freestyle. let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yeah. Hoes and bros and drinking to want those and f on the side. I'm unfollowing you. I'm unfollowing you. I'm unfollowing you. I'm, unfollowed you. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm liking that on Facebook. I'm sorry. I'm actually blocking you on Twitter. I'm hanging up right I'm, now. I'm mocking you in spam. Yeah. Sorry. sorry. Hello, who's this? Hey, this is Deontay for Detroit. Deontay, tell him why you mad, bro. Well, I ain't really mad enough. I just want to say congratulations to the syndication in Detroit or whatever. So, uh, Thank you, Deontay. I want to give a shout out to Detroit and congratulations to y'all. You, you do sound like Big Sean when you talk. Boy. Yeah, salute to everybody listening Boy. on FM 98 JLB in the D. That's what, what it up, is. though? Hello, who's this? Hey, it's Alex from Detroit. Alex, tell him why you mad. I'm mad because my ex-boyfriend snuck into my bed at 5 o'clock in the morning and woke me up with his annoying duck call. How did he sneak in the bed? He has keys? Because we have two separate bedrooms and I'm living with them. And it's a Time bad out. idea to begin with. No, we're missing the, he's, he's, hey, what's uh, the duck, duck call. call? <laughs> Who you mad? You married to somebody from Duck Dynasty? No, I wish. Oh. Then I'd be the rich and I'd be calling here. <laughs> so what, what's the duck call? Just, just do the duck call for us. <laughs> okay, well, oh well. After, after he acted like a duck, did you did you suck on his? Hey, hey, thank you for calling, Mama. Tell him why you're mad. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. If you're upset, you need to vent. Call us right now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning, yo. This is the Mad Rapper, son. For real. I'm mad. I stay mad. I stay angry. I stay heated. I stay pissed off. Tell him why you mad. Breakfast Club. Let's go. Rosen. Tell him why you mad. Man, I'm mad because I do electrical work, man. I'm working out of Millsex. Come the other day, man. We had thousands of dollars worth of material stolen from my job. And I just want to give a shot. We're going to get you. We're going to get him. <laughs> you, got video, you got video cameras? No, nah, man. Everything is SOL. What the hell? They stole electrical equipment? Yeah, that's yes, what I said. Uh, uh, yeah, man. Electrical equipment, like thousands of dollars a wire. Yeah. You know what it is? That new Spider-Man movie coming out and everybody trying to be the new Electro. I know, that's right. Yeah. Y'all, good morning, though, man. You too, bro. Hello, who's this? It's Michael. Michael, tell him why you mad, Michael. All right, I don't know if it's going to be at the other drivers or at the car dealer that didn't offer it, but why is it that I'm the only one that doesn't have a blinker force field in my car? A blinker just force you put field? The, what is just because you put the blinker on doesn't give you the right to start to cut over before you're even in front of me. Oh, yeah, you're Turn right. I, 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 I hate people that do that. You gotta put, you're supposed to put your blinker on and make sure nobody's over there before you cut over. Yeah. Turn it on and just go? No. Yeah, I'm with you. You gotta look. Hello, who's this? This is Stephanie from Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Stephanie, tell him why you mad, mama. I am so mad. This is consecutive. Every time I call my baby dad to watch his son so I could go to work, 
he ends up not showing up. It's making me become a mad black woman. Oh, so you haven't been able to go to work because he's not showing up? Right. No, I oh, haven't. Man. This is the fourth time. Yeah. So wow. he works at the same job. What? What? Where and you I'm work? about to mess up mama? his pay. What do you work? At Amazon. Okay. Well, at I the warehouse. You might, lose, you might end up losing your job because of him. Exactly. Well, the moral of the story is you got to watch who you let shoot your club up, boo. Yeah. You knew he was irresponsible and, and, and selfish before you let him shoot your club up. How old is the child? Well, my son is 10 months. Oh. That's a shame. That's a shame. Yeah. He's got to do better. You ain't got no, you, what about the grandparents? Um, he, They're an hour away. Damn. I'm sorry for you, mama. Yep. Oh, it's okay. I, I get back. I get revenge, so it's oh, nothing. Oh, gosh. Hello, who's this? Hey, this is Johnny. Johnny, tell him why you mad. I'm mad because I woke up this morning and they stole my rims from my car and my GPS. Oh, my Dang. gosh. Oh, damn why the hell? Man. Why the hell they stole your GPS? I don't know, man. They took everything, man. Damn, what kind it's, of car you had? It's an old car, 93 Harlow Ford. Damn. Oh, yeah, you didn't need rims on that, no way. They did you a favor. Yeah. Oh, stop you had rims on that old car? <laughs> <laughs> you look like a damn <laughs> fool. I'll steal your car. He got a 94 yeah, I, I got Cadillac two, Escalade. I got a 2004 that. Cadillac Escalade. He has hubcaps. <laughs> and it burns oil. It burns oil and the engine always runs hot. <laughs> have a good morning, right, son. Right, have a good morning. Take it easy. Tell them why you're mad. We do every morning, 800-585-1051. Yee. Yes, Envy. We got rumors coming up? Yes, and find out what happened with Kanye West. Apparently, some guy was screaming at Kim Kardashian, I will kill you, and called her an N-word lover. I'll tell you how Kanye reacted. See if you agree with what he did. She is an N-word lover, though. But, I mean, you know. We'll you talk watch yourself. You get punched in the arm. We'll talk about it when we come back. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. The morning, everybody. It's DJ MV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Let's get into the rumors. Kim K, don't call her a lover. Listen up. It's just in. All the guys. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela, Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, Kanye West has attacked an 18-year-old kid inside of the waiting room of a chiropractor's office. Now I'm going to break down what happened. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian were in a medical building in Beverly Hills, and they were swarmed by photographers. Now, allegedly, this guy told Kim Kardashian, F these... I can't even say these um No, words. you can't say it. Something, something, N-words. Talking about the paparazzi. Mm -hmm. Kim told them, do not use the N-word. That's not appropriate. He screamed at her, F you, bitch, just trying to help you. Shut up, N-word lover, stupid slut. Mm. <laughs> All right, Kim got super upset, watched him walk into an office, and he continued screaming and berating Kim. She called Kanye on his cell phone, and that's when the guy saw that Kanye was on the phone and said, F you, N-word. Kanye had just gotten to the building and he met up with Kim. They went into the room, the chiropractor's office where the 18 year old was sitting. And that's when Kanye punched the guy and Kim Kardashian screamed out, we have it all on tape. They say the massage therapist had to separate the two of them. The cops were called and the 18 year old now wants to press charges. Kanye is now officially a suspect in a battery investigation. They want to interview him and the matter will be referred to the L.A. County D.A. for a prosecution because he's also facing assault charges for that whole photographer attack at LAX. So let's be clear about a few things. Kim K is an N-word lover, but she's not just an N-word lover. She's a rich N-word lover. That's number one. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, Kanye has to have some N-words around him to handle other N-words that provoke him like this. And uh, three, once again, the hypocrisy of the N-word wins again because we call each other the N-word all day, but as soon as somebody from another race uses it against us, it's World War III. But well, he also calls her a slut. Well, well that's true. Stupid bitch. Because it was know? a bunch of stuff. He should have, I mean, Kanye should have put hands on that dude. You know, first of all, like, why are you harassing her like that? I agree. Absolutely. At the end of the day, we're all men. It gets to a point where you're trying to push my buttons, you pushed it, and now I'm going to punch you in your face. Well, I she should have did, though, was call security because that's, secur that's what security gets paid for to... to handle situations like that because you already know that Kanye is on probation for another case. That's why if, Con if security not around, Kanye got to have his own Edward N words around to handle that kind of business. And oh. honestly, if I want to scare somebody and shake them up, I don't know if Kanye is the person that can really hear That's me. why you got to get your goons. Have well, N words around we'll you. We'll talk about it in depth next hour. More next hour. But I will say this is just another example of why we need to stop using this word. Mm -hmm. The N word. Right, because other people are using it. That goes for you. And I just want to say one more thing about Gabrielle Sidibe. I don't know if you guys saw her on the red carpet. Who's that? How can, you miss Gabri How can you miss Gabrielle Sidibe? Oh, yeah, she's huge. <laughs> Anytime. Well, people were wearing? making fun of her a, a whole lot. She had on this white dress. It was a little tight. She looked like a big gallon of milk. 
<laughs> so she went on, on Twitter and she said, to people making mean comments about my uh, Golden Globe pictures, I most definitely cried about it on that private jet on my way to my dream job last night. Nice. She was on a private jet? She definitely wasn't on a private jet. There ain't though. no way in hell nope. Gabby's going to make her fly anywhere without flying cargo. And let's be clear. About I saw her on a plane one time. I walked right past her. She was on my flight. I saw that picture yesterday, too. And I just want to say this to Gabby City Bay. If you're going to be big and fat, you got to own it. Okay? No need to wear Spanx. <laughs> she wore Spanx? There's, there's, no, there's absolutely no reason for Gabby Reese. Well, yeah, I was telling, it looks like she does have on two pairs of Spanx because I can see that. Spanx them. can't hide nothing for nothing. her. Nothing. They, what do you, people wear Spanx because why? They want to look thinner. <laughs> they want to flatten out their tummy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, guys. No right, need guys. for Spanx. That is your Gabby rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. Just Thank let it hang. See. Let it hang, boo. That's a lot to hang up. <laughs> let it hang. That's a lot to hang. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Angela Yee. When we come back, we got front page news, and we got to talk about this Kanye Kim Kardashian thing a little further. I right, keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club. Well, August House seen as DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. Now, let's get into some front page news. Let's start off with sports. Now, the Knicks beat the Suns in overtime last night, 98 96. They won five in a row. Knicks are looking pretty good. The Spurs beat the Pelicans. I just don't. I hate the name of that Pelican. Name, hey, man. New Orleans, y'all deserve better. New Orleans is a tough city, man. Y'all gotta have a, a, a team better than the Pelicans. <laughs> nah, I, I, they gotta change the name. I heard they're changing the name for next year. Just the Pelicans just don't sound tough. Unless, the cute, Pelicans though, are, it sounds cute. Unless they're violent, we don't know about it. Yeah, I ain't never seen the Pelican in action though. Yeah, right. Raptors beat the Bucks one sixteen ninety four. Now let's talk about this guy that got shot in a the movie theater. Yeah, not just shot, but shot and killed. All right, 43-year-old man was shot dead in the movie theater. Now, what happened was Chad Olson, he was sending out some text messages. This was during the previews of the movie Lone Survivor in Wesley Chapel, Florida. Mm -hmm. That's when Curtis Reese, who, who was a retired police officer, started arguing with him, telling him to put his phone away, and he wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So Curtis Reese went to go find a theater employee to complain. He came back by himself, and he got into an argument with Chad Olson. Apparently some popcorn was thrown. Mm. And then he pulled out a gun and shot and killed Chad Olsen for texting. Yeah. So now nobody don't get to see the movie. Right. Well, you know, that's the uh, least of the worries. Now, Reeves was arrested on second degree homicide. And that's it. He was a captain at the police department in Tampa recently. And he was also the director of security at Bush Gardens. Why did degrees the homicide? And why is it only second? That seems like it, that should be the, the first degree, right? I don't know, I guess Sounds because it like wasn't it. premeditated. It was premeditated. If you leave to go get security and come back with your pistol and shoot me, you thought about it. I mean, I don't know why it's only second degree homicide. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's awful. Now, also, if you missed it, we were talking about Kanye West. Now, explain to people what happened with Kanye and Kim. Well, Kim Kardashian was in a medical building in Beverly Hills and photographers were swarming her. Mm -hmm. uh, 18 year old kid told Kim, F these something something n words talking uh -huh. about the paparazzi kim told him it's not appropriate to use the n word he then told her f you bitch just trying to help you shut up n word lover stupid slut <laughs> damn it ma'am so she watched him walk into an, uh, another office and he also saw that she was calling kanye and told her f you n word for kanye who she was on the phone with so you know she called up Kanye and Kanye went into the office and punched the 18 year old who was sitting there. Now the 18 year old is pressing charges. So the primary source of this issue seems to be the N word, right? So That's this is more maybe the, the stupid slut part. So to me, this is just another example of why we need to stop using this word, man. It, it's, it's, it's just plain hypocrisy. So have you stopped using it? Nope. But it's not necessarily well, just the N-word. He called a stupid slut. And nobody, no, a, listen, nobody gets mad when somebody calls Kim say a stupid slut, okay? No, no, I'm sure Kim he does. gets mad and, and Kanye gets, gets mad. mad. Sheesh. We all call it that, you know. No, we don't. We don't call it that. No, <laughs> stop it. Stop it. We've been it. calling it that for a long time. All I'm saying is the hypocrisy of the N-word wins again because we call each other the N-word all day, but as soon as somebody from another race uses it against us, it's World War Three. Was Kanye justified in what he was doing? I think so. Well, let's open Personally. up the phone lines. 800-585-1051. Did Kanye make the right move? Should he have punched the kid? Should he have done less? Should he have done more? There's a lot of people out there that say he has enough money. He should have had some N-words around him to handle that N-word that called his wife an N-word lover. Maybe you should have maybe you should have had security. What do you think? Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. That's right. This is my N word right now, and, and this is why I can't oh stop using goodness. the word. This record is great, and the the, the, the uh, clean version don't sound as good as in the club. My hitter. Okay, clean version. My hitter. <laughs> All right, it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs> There's more money 
more problems notorious B.I.G. And this guy Kanye seems like he has more problems and more money. Yes. What happened with Kanye? Explain to the people that they just joined us. Well, Kanye was uh, joining his fiance Kim Kardashian. She was in a medical building and the paparazzi was surrounding her. An 18-year-old kid told her, F these something something N-words. Talking about the paparazzi. She told him, don't use the N-word. It's not appropriate. He told her then, F you bitch. Just trying to help you. Shut up N-word lover, stupid slut. That's when Kim called up Kanye. He showed up, went and found the kid and punched him. Hey, I promise you, one of my biggest problems is using the N-word. I'm, I'm trying to stop using it simply because it's so much hypocrisy with that word. We call each other that all the time, but as soon as somebody from another race uses it against us, it's World War Three. And to me, this is just another example of why we need to stop using the word altogether. Well, let's go to the phone lines. 800-585-1051. The yay make the right move. You know, I'm not a big fan of Kanye because he's been a little crazy lately, but... From where I'm seeing where he came from, his woman called him in a panic, and he had to come and meet her. So I think he did, because if someone called my woman and she was all upset and they had words with my girl, I'm getting in that ass when I get there. But, you know, he's got to be able to defuse the situation because he just cost himself money that he doesn't need to spend. He yeah. also is on probation, which is another issue. I get all that, but the problem is we're all men at the end of the day. If somebody disrespects your wife, your woman, your queen, yeah, right. it gets to a fact where you got to defend yourself. You know, I, I agree. I'm with, I'm, with, I'm with him on this one, too. But then I can also see the other side where you, you got to have you some N-words, some real goons around you to handle situations like that. Absolutely. Yeah, it was spur of the moment. Spur of the moment. Your girl calls you and is like, oh, my God, get here right now. Hey, where is Kim Kardashian? Well, he he was already there, but in all fairness, when you're a huge celebrity like Kanye, you've already had multiple issues. you got to have a better system. I agree. But where is Kim Kardashian's oh, wow. Julius? Beyonce got a Julius with her at all times. You're absolutely right. Why Hello? Kim don't have a Julius? That's Croy. Croy, good morning. Did Kanye make the right move, bro? Yeah, he made the right move. He should have punched that dude like three times in the face. People need to get over it. He, he's with her, and that's just what it is. Who wouldn't be with her? She's rich. She's rich. Well, he's a uh, pretty rich yeah, himself. Yeah, he got a little bit of bread, too. Her money. Brittany, good morning. Did Kanye make the right move? Should he have punched the kid, or should he have done less? More? What do you think? He should have done less. I think as a husband and a new father, he needs to grow up and show a lot more restraint. I don't care what he calls her. He needs to be an adult and just realize that people are going to talk, and if you're not going to have self-control, you shouldn't be in the public eye. I see. I disagree. Ma, you have any kids, Ma? I have one child, yes. Now, if somebody calls your kid uh No, you can't. No, you can't compare a kid you can't. to the significant can't other. No. Sorry. Are you married, ma'am? Yes, I am. All right. Is your man, is your husband black? Yes, he's black. All right. So if somebody called your husband a big black nuke. Would you get upset about it? I absolutely would not get upset because I realize that there's ignorance out there, and if people want to use the right to exercise their ignorance, that's on them. I'm not going to stoop to their level and, and do something stupid like what Kanye did because... All he's letting people know is that it's okay to use violence when someone says something negative to you. And now a lot of people, a lot of people might do this to him to try to get some type of reaction out of him and get a Thanks, lawsuit. Ma. Yeah, you're yeah, absolutely right. I just don't understand what he's saying. <laughs> Kim Kardashian is an N-word lover. Yeah, but she's, she's, a, she's a rich N-word But you know, the lover. connotations that come with that, that phrase really is not... But she's not a stupid bitch. Oh, that's debatable. <laughs> Chris Jenner is the brain behind that family. Is he a slut? She... We've seen the sex tape. Yes. <laughs> I, I see what you're saying. You know, I'm just saying it. But I'm not mad at Kanye for doing what he's doing. All I'm saying is he should have had some N words around him to handle that kind of behavior. All right. 800 Did Kanye make the right move? Should he have punched the kid? Should he have done more? Should he have done less? Call us right now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. It's Crooked Smile, J. Cole. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. Talking about Kanye West. He got a little upset. Somebody called his fiance a lover. Called a her stupid a slut. A stupid slut. And a bitch. And a bitch. <laughs> that would make me upset. All of y'all have called Kim K a stupid slut at some point in your lives. I don't use the word slut. <laughs> and a stupid B word, okay? That's a little foul. So Kanye did what I think any man would do. He beat the guy up. No, he punched him in the arm. Okay. That's not beating someone up. Let's be clear. Kim K is not just an N-word lover. She's a, she's a rich N-word lover. Well, let's go to the okay. phone lines. 800-585-1051. Well, we got Nick on the line. Nick, what up? Did Kanye make the right move, bro? Oh, yeah, man. I think he did. The dude disrespected his, his lady, you know? But now he disrespected her and he's going to get some money out of it. Uh, I don't think he should, you know, because it's, he scared up the drama and just for punching someone in, in the arm and Nothing to get money for it. I think the worst thing Kanye did in this situation was not really, really whip the little boy's ass. Because he going to get charged like he actually whipped his ass. And he going to have to kick out money like he actually whipped his ass. So he should have just whipped, whipped his ass. Yeah, whipped his ass pretty good. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Hello, who's this? Yo, this is Sarah calling out the Newport News. 
Show, what's going on from Newport News? How's everything down there in the uh, 757? Hey. It's all right. It's all good. I'm pretty good. good. Now, I know you would have whooped the, the kid's ass. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would. I don't got the money Kanye West got, but you know what I'm saying? But I, I agree with Charlemagne. You know, you got to have some N-words around you. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, he doesn't seem like that person anymore like he used to be. Hey, you know man, you, you can always pay a, pay a couple homies a few dollars off the street to come hold you down. But he doesn't even have to do that. He has security. He can afford to pay them. Hey, man, he, he, he didn't have security all the time. They just went to the doctor's office. Hey, security, goons, N-words, whatever you want to call them, you got to have them on deck. Sorry. Hello, who's this? Now, my name's Sean, man. To comment on the situation, I felt like he was wrong because... The simple fact is a lot of people in African American culture get the word misconstrued because you have to read a dictionary. When you say the word, it means acting ignorant. You know, and uh, me and my friend were sitting down discussing this word just last week, man. And, uh, so you, you think that N word lover means acting ignorant lover? No, I mean, the N word itself is being <laughs> exactly. It ain't no N word lover. I mean, you can love who you want to love. I know what you're saying. What, what, what you're saying is what I say all the time that black people are not the only N words out here. If you ask me, hun right. Honey Boo Boo is N words, Duck Dynasty is N words, the Kardashians is N words. But what I'm saying is we need to stop calling each other the N word because as soon as somebody from another race uses it, it's World War Three. We just need to abolish the word altogether. I've been said that. Okay, thank you, bro. Hello, who's this? You know who this is, boy. Now, 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 if Tim K isn't a cool lover, then what is she? What? Did, 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 didn't that spook Ray J hit it first? Yeah. He, he was a ninja. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that, that old Fleetfoot ninja whose great-grandparents used to work on the bush plantation. Uh, Reggie, he, he was a ninja. What? Okay. Uh, uh, Bow Wow, he was a ninja. All right. I mean, the, the moral of the story is if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's probably a ninja loving All duck. right, all right, that's enough. All right. And that's the problem with the N-word right there. That is the problem right. with the N-word right there. I'm telling you, man, it's just so much hypocrisy surrounding that word we gotta teach people how to treat us but it's more than just the the, the n-word because he called her a stupid bitch and a slut listen no disrespect to kim kardashian no <laughs> disrespect to kanye nobody's getting mad at somebody for calling kim k a slut we all think she's a slut okay well her man is mad that's all that matters no doubt all i'm saying is we got to stop using the n-word okay can she just stop being a slut or is it once a slut always a slut no the statute of limitations on being a slut can wear out it just hasn't wore out on her yet okay. that's all okay. okay her slut miles are very fresh oh okay. my goodness <laughs> yeah we have rumors coming up i hate this guy and let's talk about a vh1 reality show that's in trouble apparently a couple of the cast members are saying that they were given drinks that had a date rape drug in it and <laughs> that's why they were acting <laughs> so slutty on the show whoa all right, well, we'll get into that next. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Yo, can dudes sing this song? You damn right dudes can sing this you song. You know, and I, I did say this over the weekend. It's weird to see guys dancing to this. No, it's oh. not. I'll be singing this. Oh. You, hey, you can't surfboard without me. Oh. I am the surfboard. All right, Andy Charlamagne, y'all can talk <laughs> about this with each other later. That. So, yes, I can sing surfboard. Before we get to the rumors, I just want to tell the listeners out there, when that surfboard part comes on, Charlamagne starts singing. Surfboard. He starts grinding his body. Surfboard. Yo, what is Charlamagne wrong with starts you? grinding on Listen, that wood. I, 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 am a, I am a Pinkett Smith, Winfrey Knowles Carter, and I've been saying this since day one. Beyonce's music is the only music that can make a straight man queen out. It's nothing wrong with queen and not the Beyonce's music. All right, girl. All right, well, let's talk about roofies in the drink in the rumors. Let's go. Surfboard. This just in. All the guys. Guys. The rumor report. Guys. With Angela, Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, here are some crazy allegations. Did producers on VH1's Black Ink crew roofy girls on the show to make them look slutty? According to Alex from the show, who was the receptionist, she quit the show because she said someone connected with production handed her a drink that had the date rape drug in it, and it completely messed her up. She said she barely remembers a thing, including hitting on the owner, and she said the show footage was edited to make her look as slutty as possible. She quit last June because she felt so violated, and her friend Erica, who was not a cast member, said that she was also roofied together. They are suing for battery and demanding at least $1 million. No disrespect to the girls I see on the Black Ink crew, but y'all don't need no help looking slutty. Just want to throw that out there. Well, I, that's a crazy allegation, though, to say the producers roofied you to make you look slutty. Yeah, that's crazy. So I don't know how you can prove that that is true or false unless you had some type of drug test done after to see what happened, but we'll we'll follow the story and let you know. Don't make excuses for being a slut. Own it. All right, Octomom, she's been charged with three felony counts of welfare fraud, and now she's facing more than five years in prison if she does get convicted. The hell is she lying about? Well, apparently she failed to report about $30,000 in earnings over the period of six months last year, and she didn't uh, disclose 
all this income from personal appearances and from that masturbation video she did. I would have thought she made more than that from that masturbation video. Cause she can make more money. I'm not masturbating for thirty thousand dollars over the course of six months. I need more than that. She can make more money just letting people kid carry letting people carry her kids on their taxes. She got, right. How many kids? She got thirty seven. No, man. All right, and shout out to Beyonce. She actually did an article, and it's part of the Shriver Report. It's about a woman's nation pushes back from the brink. This is all for American progress. And in it, she says that gender equality is a myth. That's very true. She said we need to stop buying into the myth about gender equality. It isn't a reality yet. Women make up half of the U.S. workforce, but the average working woman earns only 77% of what the average working man makes. So she said things have not changed. Equality will be achieved when men and women are granted equal pay and equal respect. Okay. Look and, at Beyonce. And Beyonce said it is the gospel. Right. Surfboard. Surfboard. <laughs> Thank you. Shoot that watermelon. Now, uh, Charlemagne, <laughs> Mr. S- Mr. Surfboard. Yes, sir. Donkey of the Day is up next. Uh, yeah, Donkey of the Day is going out to Pastor Tim Christensen. And uh, the congregation would like to have a word with you, Pastor. You are not leading the sheep the proper way, Mr. Shepherd. Okay. We'll yes. get into that next. Keep it locked. This is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. I was born a donkey. It's the Donkey of the Day. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Charlemagne the Devil? Possibly. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Yes, yeah, dog here today for Tuesday, January 14th goes to Pastor Tim Christensen of Gold Hill Lutheran Church in Butt, Montana. Now, the San Francisco 49ers played the Carolina Panthers this past Sunday. They won, by the way. But uh, Pastor Tim Christensen is a 49ers fan. Yes. So Shut up, yeah. You ain't no damn 49ers fan. Knock it off. <laughs> So much so that he wore his 49ers shirt under his robe as he gave his sermon on Sunday. Now, just imagine, just imagine, right? You're going through things in your life and you've been looking forward to Sunday. You really need a word on this Sunday. You know, you really needed to lean on the strength of the church this Sunday morning. You go to your place of worship and you hear your pastor give this sermon. For those of you who weren't at the early service and are here, you may not be aware that there is a football game starting in just a few moments. But I was thinking we might have just a little bit of an abbreviated service. So if you want to just kind of follow with me a little bit. Uh, would you all like to be forgiven for your sins? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's great. You are. Uh, there's some bread and some wine up here on the table. You feel free to help yourself uh, if you'd like to. And uh, let's see, it's... Uh, Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Okay, we will. Thanks be God. Yes, and I'm out of here. What? Wow. Come on, Pastor Tim Christensen. <laughs> I know you want to get home to watch the game, but you are a public servant. You are there to serve the needs of the public. The public needed a good word. You can't be on no self-serving BS like this. You are the shepherd of the sheep, but on this day, you just told the sheep to scatter and didn't care where they went because you wanted to go watch the 49ers play. What kind of man of God are you? See, this is the kind of behavior that gets all your prayers sent to God's man folder. You can't play with people's spiritual emotions like that. There's no such thing as a throwaway day when you're a pastor. (laughs) And how pissed off, how pissed off would you be if they sent the collection played around that day. Did they take tithes and offerings? If I had to give tithes and offerings on this day, then I would demand a refund immediately. Give Pastor Tim Christensen the biggest he huh? I bet it'd have been alright if he was going home to watch the, the Cowboys. Cowboys. Cowboys is God's team. That's, that's, the way, that's, the way, that's the way Jesus would want it. Well, you know, that's how I feel about the 49ers okay. too, so I can relate. You know that's the pastor's way of, of, of telling everybody, hey, bring your ass to the early service, okay? Mm-mm-mm. And now you're a 49er fan, huh? I'm going to kill you, Yee. You're not a damn 49er <laughs> fan. All I know is it's a holiday if they make it to the Super Bowl and win. I'm not coming in the next day. You probably wasn't well, coming in the next day. Who you have sex with the 49ers that all of a sudden you're a 49ers fan? I don't even know who's on the team. <laughs> you're crazy. Well, thank you for that donkey today, Charlemagne. Now, up next, would you twerk for some money? Hmm? Would you? Would you? Would you? Sounds, Charlamagne, you answer that. It sounds very old. <laughs> it sounds very 2013. Well, actually, no, but Juicy J was giving away a scholarship, a $50,000 scholarship. That was twerking. last year. Yeah, but he just gave the scholarship away. Oh, he actually gave it to somebody. Yeah, he, he gave, gave the money gave to somebody. Well, well, we have audio right fast. Play the audio right fast. Shout out to Juicy J. Shout out to World Star. With your scholarship, my education can't go far. You have 50K. I have straight A's. I need more than just... Financial late, 11 years of school to become a doctor. Had a baby at 19, but no, that can't stop her. 
Well, she got okay. straight A's. She got fifty thousand. She's gonna be a doctor. She's not. I, she's not gonna be practicing she, on me. Is she signed to State Trippy Records? I don't know. Hey, let me ask y'all a question. How are we gonna stop using the N word when stuff like this going on? How how else can we describe this, these type of behaviors? This is N word. I'm gonna hear some juicy J, man. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is my hit or my hit. 800-585-1051 I guess would it have been okay if Juicy J made girls twerk for the scholarship they made him stop they said you know it, they said it was disrespectful these girls can't be twerking for money for school so they he can just, surfboard for scholarship stop it <laughs> surfboard is it okay to twerk for scholarship you guys don't take anything serious you know that right <laughs> nothing serious in this room <laughs> These girls out there twerking hey, we for We're talking some... about Juicy <laughs> J and twerking and girls rapping about having babies at 19 <laughs> and being in school for 11 years. You want us to be serious, man? Come on, man. Come on, man. Pastors giving sermons to get the hell out because they want to go watch football. But we supposed to be serious? Man, please. Is it okay to twerk for scholarship money? Or is twerking slutty? Our producer came in here and said twerking is slutty. Is it okay to she twerk for scholarship no money? Too. Let's keep that in mind. She can't twerk, so she's probably a little upset. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's the Breakfast Club. Goodbye. Yeah. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee. Charlamagne to God. We are the Breakfast Club. That was Miguel. How many drinks? Now Record's still tough. Record's still tough. We're talking about twerking for a scholarship. Yes, Juicy J announced the $50,000 twerk scholarship winner. And he has a winner. Let's hear her. Let's hear from her, I should say. Shout out to Juicy J, shout out to World Star. With your scholarship, my education can't go far. You have 50K, I have straight A's. I need more than just financial aid. 11 years of school to become a doctor. Had a baby at 19, but no, that can't stop her. Mm -mm. And there you have it. Now, if you read the fine print in his contest, you didn't actually have to twerk to get the scholarship money. And this young lady did not twerk. But I understand it. You know, it's Juicy J. That's the contest he had. He actually has a song called Scholarship, which is why he did the whole contest. So what's the question we're asking now? What's going on? Would, would you twerk for a scholarship? No, would it have been okay if Juicy gave me, did you, Would it be okay for these girls to twerk for a scholarship? That's the question. I mean, listen. You're twerking on Instagram, Vine, and World Star for free, so why not twerk to further your education? All these poor and disenfranchised kids who can't get financial aid, mm -hmm. go on and pop that coochie for a scholarship. That's right. You're surfboarding. You ain't getting no money for that. Absolutely. And you know you what, man? No scholarship. Women been, on that wood. Women been scripting for tuition for years. It, I just, know, it just seems I, all the way bad, no, though. I know chicks right now who script to pay their way through college, and they are doing great in life right now. All right, all right, all right, Charlotte. Let me ask you. You have a daughter. So if your daughter came up to you and said, Daddy, I want to twerk for a scholarship, what would you say? Stop the music. First of all, I would be like, look, I worked too hard and got plenty of money, so you'll be fine. You don't have to do that. I'm just saying for those who can't. I specifically said <laughs> poor and disenfranchised. <laughs> okay. well, let's go to the phone lines. We got Tracy on the line. Tracy, is it okay for Juicy J to pay these girls to twerk for a scholarship? I'd say hell yeah. Let her twerk. She ain't doing nothing illegal. Twerk, girl. I agree, man. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. He got a song about it. Pop that coochie for a scholarship. Oh, my goodness. Hello, who's this? Viviana from Long Island. Viviana, we're talking about twerking for some scholarship money. What do you think? That's not for me to each his own, but I have a lot of respect for myself, and you'll never find me doing something like that in front of anybody. Or if you're going to twerk for some scholarship money, you might as well just hit the stripper pole. Oh, come on. There's a big difference between twerking and being a stripper. Still, I have respect for myself, and I'm, I wouldn't, I've would i worked hard for everything I have. Right. Where you from, I Mama? Have. Where you from? Long Island. I know you've been to a West Indian party, and you see West Indians yeah. dance on their head. There's nothing different <laughs> between them dancing on their head and twerking. <laughs> and, you, and you're in your room. I know you're in your room at night by yourself twerking in the mirror. So, but I gotta, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm definitely not twerking for some 50K. I'll work hard for it with my two jobs. Okay. All right. Well, keep working hard then. All right. Thank, thank you, Mama. Hello, who's this? Work smart and not hard. Andrea? Hey, Andre, would you twerk for uh, 50000 I'd twerk for a scholarship. She would twerk for a scholarship. Know. There you have yes. it. Yes, because if it furthers your education, it's about to make you a doctor. I'm not necessarily on a doctor's twerk on the operation table, but when she's inside <laughs> it, I feel that she could twerk for a scholarship, or if you're in the house and you know, you're twerking for your boo, that's a different thing. That's different. I'm with you. But public twerking, I'm against it. Twerk to further that education, okay? But, but, public, but no public twerking. No public twerking. And I don't feel you should donkey that pastor because if they're a part of that congregation, they're a family in that congregation, then they should already know that he's a 49ers fan and they should have went to the earlier service. If you right, man, like, come you on, now, knock it off. God, God ain't moving things around for you. 800-585-1051. We're talking about twerking. Is it okay to twerk for a scholarship? Call us right now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Oh, pop that coochie for a scholarship. Oh, my goodness. Well, college chick. 
You will pop that coochie for a scholarship. Oh, my goodness. That was Juicy J. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning, DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club, of course. That was Juicy J, and that's one of his records. What's it called? Scholarship. And shout out, I, 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 you know, that was one of the best albums of last year, FYI. Stay trippy. Just want to throw that out there. Now, we're talking about is it okay for females to dance for a scholarship? Listen, like I or said, twerk it for Scott, listen, I should say. Like I said, you're twerking on Instagram, Vine, and World Star for free. So why not twerk to further your education? All these poor and disenfranchised kids who can't get financial aid, go on and pop that coochie for a scholarship. And nobody right? said you have to have your clothes off or anything. Yeah. You just twerk. Oh, so you can wear dance. you can wear sweatpants, jeans to twerk. That and yeah, I will right. also say this. What? I know some women that have been stripping, or used to strip for years to pay mm-hmm. their way through college, and they are doing great in life now. I'm talking about great six-figure job status. Okay. It's just not for everybody. All right, well, let's go to the phone lines. We have Lori on the line. Lori, 800-585-1051. Would it have been okay if Juicy J made girls twerk for the scholarship? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Why is it? Come on Mm-mm. now. It's getting ridiculous now. Certain things need to be done behind closed doors. All right, every, everybody's not, you know, wealthy. You got to do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. But keep it behind closed doors or stay in the strip club. Come on now. Everybody got to know about your torches for 50 k you ain't yeah. gonna make no fifty thousand in the script club. If one of your friends got a fifty thousand dollars scholarship for for twerking, but you know, other than that, she doesn't do anything crazy. You would judge her for that? No, of course not. I can't judge anybody because I'm not perfect myself. Mm-hmm. Who am I to judge? Okay. Everybody, like I said, everybody can do what they got to do to eat. It's hard out here. Okay, thank All you. Right? Hello, who's this? Hey, this should be our seven city diva from Norfolk, VA. Good morning. Good morning. Good. I think this girl should twerk it, work it, drop it <laughs> low. That's going to get you 50 G's. And not only that, I don't hear no hookers out here in VA that's, that's selling and popping that cat for some money to get ahead in school because it ain't easy to find these jobs and you got Congress ripping everybody off. So, with that being said, twerk it, work it, drop it low. Okay. Okay. that coochie for a goon. Oh I mean, a scholarship. Goodness. Hello, who's this? This king from my state, New York. You twerk, you twerking for a scholarship? Damn right. Listen, I went to Temple for two years, and I'm already in the hole twenty five thousand dollars. No, my Somebody goodness. Somebody paying for my tuition just going down. See, yeah. you could you that's what you could have had that twenty five thousand dollars student loan wiped away if you'd have just twerked. Exactly. So yes, definitely. Why not? Two minutes of twerking to get rid of that um student loan that debt. debt. Listen, the moral of the story is you got to use what you got to get what you want. Lisa Ray did it in Players Club. Oh, Jada, Jada Pinkett Smith did it and set it off. Those are had, movies, when man. she had to sleep with that old man life. to pay for her son, I mean, pay for her brother to get through school. All right. And now this Well, you know what? The only issue I have with it, he should have opened it up to men as well. Oh, stop it. We got rumors coming up. Gender equality. I'm with you. <laughs> and, of course, we are going to talk about Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. What went down that Kanye had to assault an 18-year-old also, Love and Hip Hop LA, who is supposedly the huge artist that's joining the cast. All right, well, let's get into that next. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. I love it. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Hey, good morning, MV. Why nobody say good morning? I don't know. I did. I did. You okay. talking to me? No. Okay, then. So you, 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 the listeners probably did say good morning to you, but you can't hear them because they're in their cars and in their houses and at work. You freaking light-skinned idiot. What's wrong with waffle color Negro? You big black bully over there. Mo- good, All right. Good morning. But you can say good morning back. And he expect to hear the listeners. You guys, it's Tuesday. Stop. Morning. But you could have said good morning back. What's wrong with you saying good morning back? Well, good morning, listeners. How are y'all today? Me? I said good morning to you. Well, good morning, you beige, sensitive, emotional, Drake-ass. <laughs> you said you weren't going to use that word. I know. Let's get to the rumors. Uh, you see what happens when somebody else come, calls somebody. A... Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela and Lee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. So we've been talking about this all morning. Kanye West is facing assault charges involving a... Uh, this whole incident with an 18-year-old. This guy wants to press charges. Now, what happened was he did attack this 18-year-old kid, but some people feel like he had good reason. They were at a Beverly Hills medical building. Kim Kardashian was walking along. The paparazzi was swarming her, and a guy said, F these something something N-words, talking about the paparazzi. Kim told the 18-year-old it's not appropriate to use the N-word. He then told her, F you, bitch, just trying to help you. Shut up, N-word lover, stupid slut. Now, she called Kanye. Kanye showed up to save save her, I guess. And they went into the chiropractor's office where the 18-year-old was sitting. And he punched him in the arm. Punched him in the arm. Now, Kim Kardashian is saying that she was threatened with death by the man who allegedly told her, I will kill you, slut. 
So that's her story, and she actually is trying to press charges as well. Hey, Kanye, Chicago called. They said they want you to stop claiming them because you're punching people in the arm. That's not Chicago. <laughs> stop it, man. <laughs> stop it. You got to stop saying you're going to turn up and get shy tired on people, and that's the best you can do is punch somebody in the arm. I'm interested because allegedly they have video footage of all this happening, so I'm sure at some point all of that is going to come out. Mm -hmm. Listen, let's be clear. Kim K is an N-word lover. But she's not just the N word lover. She's a rich Stop N word it. lover. Stop it. That just has terrible connotations. I agree. How it's been used in the past. All right, Andre 3000 and Big Boy, aka Outcast, they have announced that they are reuniting. They are returning to the stage. That's good. With a full festival run over 40 dates. They're going to be celebrating 20 years of Outcast. It's all kicking off at Coachella. They did confirm that. So it should be interesting what these 40 festival dates will be. But it's worldwide. So, you know, there's festivals in every country. Well, no need to rush to Coachella. Now, <laughs> I can catch Outcast 40 more days in 40 Well, do you want to go all the way to Sweden to go catch them? Or, you know, what's Coachella's a huge deal. They got some U.S. dates, too. Yeah, what's the closest to us? I'm they haven't announced yet. them yet. Uh oh. But mm -hmm. I I feel like they'll probably do Made in America. Salute That's just Outcast. my thought. Mm -hmm. One of the greatest groups ever. All right, Love and Hip Hop LA. Allegedly, the game is going to be joining the cast. They were trying to find somebody big once Ray J couldn't sign up because of his obligations with the Oxygen Network. They have Brooke Valentine, DJ Yessi Ortiz, Hazel E, who is a rapper, and a video vixen Bria Miles. Now, allegedly, the game is going to be on there. You know, he's no longer with his ex fiance who he did the reality show with. And he did tweet a picture of him with Mona Scott sitting at the table with the hashtag. Love and Hip Hop LA. But I mm -hmm. thought Game had his own show. I think that was uh, all pending their marriage, getting ready for their marriage. That I don't think that happen. happened, so. So and now. How, how are all those people's lives going to intertwine? Like, I mean, out of all of They'll them. They'll find a way. Out of all of them, Game's the only one that got something going on. Brooke Valentine? What song did Brooke used to sing? Uh, Girl Fight. Girl Fight. It's about to be a girl fight. Uh -huh. <laughs> But, yeah, I don't know. But he allegedly is, has something going on with his assistant. I don't know. And a lot of people feel like his assistant is his side chick. Randomly enough, one time I was in L.A. a couple of months ago, and I did see him at a hookah spot late night, and his assistant was there. So Don't put that out there on that game. No, I didn't say he was <laughs> doing anything. He said, it, he said, it, he said his, uh, I think he said that Tiffany had just left. So. There you go. Well, shout out to Mona Scott. If we know one thing about Mona, she can make something out of nothing. All right. So, so, so game will be on there with a bunch of nothing, and it'll probably be interesting. And that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. Okay, thank you, Miss Yee. Now, up next, we got the People's Choice. Make sure you want to hear something. The People's Choice. 585-1051. Let us know what you want to hear. I'm going to play some LL Cool J joints, too, in the uh, mix. One more thing. Happy birthday to Elliot Wilson from Rap Radar. Happy what birthday, up, OG? OGYN? Absolutely. Queens right there. And uh, it's LL's birthday as well. Of course, we're going to play some LL joints. And uh, you know what it is. It's the Breakfast Club. The People's Choice mix is up next. Our 105.1. Yes, doggy of the day for Tuesday, January 14th goes the pastor, Tim Christensen of Gold Hill Lutheran Church in Butt, Montana. Now, the San Francisco 49ers played the Carolina Panthers this past Sunday. They won, by the way. But uh, Pastor Tim Christensen is a 49ers fan. Yes. So Shut up, yeah. You ain't no damn 49ers fan. Knock it off. <laughs> so much so that he wore his 49ers shirt under his robe as he gave his sermon on Sunday. Now, just That's imagine. Crazy. Just imagine, right? You going through things in your life, and you've been looking forward to Sunday. You really need a word on this Sunday. You know, he really needed to lean on the strength of the church this Sunday morning. You go to your place of worship, and you hear your pastor give this sermon. For those of you who weren't at the early service and are here, you may not be aware that there is a football game starting in just a few moments. But I was thinking we might have just a little bit of an abbreviated service. So if you want to just kind of follow with me a little bit. Uh, would you all like to be forgiven for your sins? Yes. Okay, that's great, you are. Uh, there's some bread and some wine up here on the table. You feel free to help yourself uh, if you'd like to. And uh, let's see, it's uh, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Okay, we will. Thanks be to God. Yes, and I'm out of here. What? Wow. Come on, Pastor Tim Christensen. <laughs> I know you want to get home to watch the game, but you are a public servant. You are there to serve the needs of the public. The public needed a good word. You can't be on no self-serving BS like this. You are the shepherd of the sheep, but on this day, you just told the sheep to scatter and didn't care where they went because you wanted to go watch the 49ers play. What kind of man of God are you? 
See, this is the kind of behavior that gets all your prayers sent to God's spam folder. You can't play with people's spiritual emotions like that. There's no such thing as a throwaway day when you're a pastor. <laughs> and how That's pissed funny. off? How pissed off would you be if they sent the collection plate around that day? Did they take tithes and offerings? If I had to give tithes and offerings on this day, then I would demand a refund immediately. Give Pastor Tim Christensen the biggest hee haw. <laughs> I bet it would have been all right if he was going home to watch the, the Cowboys. Cowboys. Cowboys is God's team. That's, that's, the way, that's, the way, that's the way Jesus would want it. So well, you know, that's how I feel about the 49ers, okay. too, so I can relate. I'm going to kill you, Yee. You're not a damn 49ers fan. <laughs> all I know is it's a holiday if they make it to the Super Bowl and win. I'm not coming in the next day. You probably wasn't well, you coming in the next day. Who you having sex with from the 49ers that all of a sudden you're a 49ers fan? I don't even know who's on the team. <laughs> you're crazy. All right. Well, thank you for that donk in the day, Charlemagne. If you missed it, we get it on early and then also after the mix. All right? I'm, I'm always here to give you my, uh, my donkey. Yes, we know. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> now, you want to send a, a rest in peace to somebody, right? Oh, yeah. Um, a young lady named Sophia. When I was in L.A. over this weekend, I went to the Children's Hospital of L.A. Mm -hmm. And I actually uh, met a young, young girl. Her name was Sophia. And she was battling cancer. She passed this morning. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, I saw so, the picture on Instagram of her. Yeah. Also, a rest in peace to DJ Nando, one of the uh, big DJs in Atlanta that DJs all the clubs in Atlanta, DJ all the gentlemen clubs. He. Uh, I met him in Magic City. He's got cool. robbed and killed last night, so rest in peace to him. Awful. One of our fellow DJs Awful. passed. Rest in peace to Nando. That's why you got to stay away from these N-words. I hope they find who did it. Me too. That's why you got to stay away from these N-words, and that's why I don't talk to them after 5 p.m. It ain't, right. it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't them that's killing us, and by them, I mean the white man and the system. It's us. All right. All right. When we come back, if you missed it, we have the decision. That's where we bring people up here. And if they have problems or situations they need help with, we help them. We try to help people up here. Yeah, right. Let's keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club. It's Drake. Come on. What up, y'all? It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. It's decision time. Who do we have here? Yee? Yes, we have JB here. What's up, JB? What's up? JB, what's up, my brother? You look tight. All right. All right. Tight. Yeah, what's the issue? I, I got this best friend. Well, used to be my best friend. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did y'all pat JB down? Yeah, JB, you look like you just, you home off work uh, release. Uh, I can't uh, tell if you're about to cry or scream. No, nah, real talk, man. I, I got my friend, right? His name, I ain't, I'm ain't. i not even going to say his name, all right? So this is my boy. He was supposed to be my boy. You know, we hung out. We grew up, went to high school together. He know my folks. You know, we went through a lot of stuff together. So that's my dude. So, you know, I got my girl, Kia. You know, we've been having problems. You know, so I stepped to her and I'm like, yo, what's going on? Is it me? You know, you messing with somebody else? She was like, no, no, no. I kept pressing her. You know, we've been having bad weeks. And then she finally just came out and said it. She slept with my boy. Whoop. Hey. She slept with my boy, son. So she so, told you. She slept with your boy that you don't want to say his name. I'm not saying his name. Well, I can see why you you, you don't want to say his name. I'm not saying his name right so now. So what's going on? Is she like still with him or? I don't know. I don't know. How it's, long ago is this? This was like three weeks ago. Okay. I've been avoiding him. I'm like, yo. If Why I you see been avoiding him? That's your man. You slept with your girl and you been avoiding dude, him? If I see this dude, yo, I'm a straight killer. You ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to do killer. nothing. You wouldn't be up here on the radio talking yo, about what you're going to do you if you was going to do something. You, you might as well me. tweet him. You don't know. You me. might as well tweet him, man. You, you know one of them thumb tugs? So what about your girlfriend, though? Is that still your girlfriend? Thumb thugs. Is that still your girlfriend, JB? We trying to work it out. So why are you here? Why are you here? To face the situation. Oh, the guy's if here? Him, if I bring him here, then I won't have to do nothing stupid. What makes you think this is a controlled environment, sir? This might make it worse. It honestly. makes it like you sound you scared. Like, you, you bring him up here so you can talk. Like, you don't want to see him in the street. No, that, that's why I'm here. Because oh, I don't want to kill him. What you, I mean? what you talking about? Scared? What you mean you don't want to kill him? Yo, stop all this fake thugging you doing, man. You're up here no, at a radio know, station, man. man. You, don't know me, man. you might as well put out talk, a rap record, talk, man. Real talk, son. All right, well, he's he's outside. Okay. All right, listen, listen, everybody listen, stay calm, Charlemagne. We don't need you to incite this or make it any worse than what it already is. Listen, I don't talk to N words after 5 p.m. You're coming at me like I'm soft, son. I'm not. Yo, you don't know me like that, son. I don't think you're going to do nothing. Shouldn't you be coming. more mad at your girlfriend than your friend, though? Like, that's your girlfriend? I, mean, I didn't have sex with your girl. I mean, that's, that's my girl. That's my girl. So, I mean, that's we not work. your girl. You share we that girl. Work, we're going to work that out, you know? We, wow, we you're going to work it out with your girl and be mad I mean, at your friend? I don't friend? know. I don't know. We, 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 we trying to see. But this is kind supposed to be my boy, though. Because well, your let's, girlfriend's let's, a hoe and you want to work it out with her? Same, man. All right, all right. Well, let's get it. Let's All right, well, let's bring your boy here when we come back, all right? We're going to bring in your boy. His name is Nigel, right? 
Yes. We're gonna bring in Nigel no, when we come no, back. Okay. Why are you looking at you like that? <laughs> no, we are. You don't have to look at me so menacing, sir. Okay. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Calm down, calm down. Don't Let's come on, girl. Save your energy for Nigel, on, sir. All right, when we come okay. back, we're gonna get Nigel in there. Yeah, JD, chill out. Save, when we come back, save your energy for Nigel. We're gonna bring sir. Nigel in here. Call you the God or whatever. Save gonna, your energy for God, Nigel. All right, keep it locked at the Breakfast Club. Save your energy for Nigel, sir. You tissue paper, son. You tissue paper. Wow. Can we get it? DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God, we are the Breakfast Club. All right. Now, who brought this ex convict into this damn radio station? This is a joke, All right. This is no joke, son. So, JB, ain't nobody pat this dude down. Listen, listen, Charlamagne, that's JB, JB, focus on the matter at hand. Your girlfriend's a hoe. His friend is knocking off his girl. He's got a lot of displaced anger because this guy is knocking off his girl. His name is Nigel. Nigel thinks he's up here winning some Jay-Z tickets. But Nigel actually won the ultimate prize, which is JB's girl. That's right. So, Nigel. Had sex with JB's girl, yes. and JB wants to confront him right here on the Breakfast Club. JB's talking in. a real tough game, but I'm going to say... All right, Charlemagne, come I'm on. Just saying. Can we get into this? Stop. I'm, Look, I'm not your issue. I'm talking. Stop just All right, shut up. We're going to bring Nigel in, all right? All right, let's bring him in. You ain't going to do nothing. Chill. You ain't going to do nothing, JB. Hey, Nigel. Uh, Nigel, what up? Oh, there it go. Oh, there it go. Oh, 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 oh there it go. Oh, 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 oh,